guys? Liam here back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to downgrade any 32-bit iOS device that's capable of running both iOS 6 and iOS 8. So without further ado, let's get into it. This works on the iPod Touch 5th generation, the original iPad mini, iPad 2, iPad 3, iPad 4, the iPhone 5 even, any device that was able to run iOS 6 at some point and 8 will work for this method. I've already tested this on a couple devices, including an iPhone 5. This was running iOS 10, and all you need for this is a jailbroken device running any version above iOS 8. You can also upgrade to this, so say you're on iOS 7 and you wanna go up to 8 without jumping to 9 or 10 or whatever the latest version is for you, this will work too. But again, you need a jailbroken device, any iOS, and you're just gonna need a file manager to play around with a couple numbers. All right, so you can see if I jump into my iPod Touch fifth generation, it is jailbroken and I'm running iOS 9.3.5, as you can see right there. What you're gonna go ahead and do is download a file manager from Cydia. So you can use iFile for this, but I prefer files of file manager. It's a little more up-to-date, a little bit easier to play around with. So files up. That's the file manager. So go ahead and install this. And then once you have that installed, that's all you need. Once you have files, I'll go ahead and open the application. Once you're in here, we're gonna back all the way out until you get to the root, which is this slash. Next, you're gonna find system, library, and you're gonna find core services. So that's gonna be down here a little bit, right here, core services. And next, you're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom of core services and go to systemversion.plist. You're going to click on that and you're going to click this little triangle over here and you can see here's where our product version and our product build version is. First we're going to edit the product version. If you have an iPhone 5 or something that can run iOS 10, you're going to want to put iOS 6.1.3 in here. If you have any other device that can only update to 9.3.5, go ahead and put 6.0. So 6.0. Just like that. Go ahead and click back. So now we have 6.0. We're also gonna to need to edit the build number. So in here, go ahead and edit the build number. So to find your build number, you're gonna to go to a site called ipsme.com, ipswme.com. And you're gonna go ahead and find your device in ipswme. And every device has a different build number. So make sure that you get the exact one that you need. So ipswme. We're going to go ahead and click iPod. I'm using an iPod Touch 5 in this case. If you have an iPhone 5, you'll obviously select that. So you're going to scroll down to the bottom to iOS 6.0. You can see the build number for this is 10A406. So on this device, we're going to type 10A406. Back out of that. As you can see, the build number and the product version has changed. Go ahead and click Save. Done and back out of this. The next step is to simply turn off your device and then turn it back on. So we're gonna go ahead and power it off. We're gonna go ahead and turn it back on and it'll boot up shortly. See, when you're booting up, you're gonna go ahead and get a bar like it's updating. It's not, it just does this for some random reason when you're booting back up. I'm not really sure why, but you're gonna go ahead and let that bar run through. It doesn't take too long. So you can see that the bar is now finishing up. We're almost done. The bar is gone and our device should boot up in just a second. All right, so we're back on the home screen. You can see we're still on iOS 9, but now if we jump into our settings, it's gonna see, it's gonna say that we're on iOS 6.0 and there's the build number that we put in. You're not really, you're still on iOS 9, but your device thinks you are on 6.0. In software update, go ahead and let it check for an update. You can see iOS 8.4.1 has popped up right here, and here's the official release notes for the firmware. So go ahead and click download and install, accept the terms and conditions, and iOS 8.4.1 is now installing. All right, so it's a little while later. You can see the update has installed and it's about to update to eight. So I'm gonna go ahead and click install now. You can see it's gonna verify the update. So you can see the verifying part just finished. The iPod is about to update. And boom, you can see it's installing the update now.
It's about 20 minutes later and the update has finished. So um, you're most likely going to get a black wallpaper. Don't worry about that. I don't know why, but it turns black for some reason. Go ahead and unlock. And boom, we have iOS 8. So if we jump into settings and general and about, you can see iOS 8.4.1 and all of the information. So that about sums up the tutorial. Um, also make sure to click erase all content and settings after you do this downgrade. Um, if you're having any issues, that should fix it. It fixes it for me every time. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you like the video, please make sure to leave a big like down below and subscribe for more videos just like this one. See you in the next one.